Do the bump bump. Hundreds of billions of dollars, realistic. Well, government controls to achieve that kind of efficiency are just too blunt an instrument. The Rand Corporation has done a lot of research on how other countries have tried to achieve this. And they found that never do government controls eliminate inappropriate care. Out of the way. rationing care mostly based on age. For example, Rand found that cardiac procedures are much less frequent in Canada. Get her lick my leg now. I got a broken toe. You're going to stand there and lick my leg. Don't walk on my toe. He's got an upset. If you lick my broken toe, so help me, Hannah. That you can keep your health plan if you like. That's wonderful. I'm real thrilled. Thank you very much. When you limit the flow of dollars as the percent of the one point five percent annual cut in health care growth, you will have more money to spend on everyone. And with forty six million Americans no. now entering the system as insurance, no, my, no, my, no, my no. scarcity. What about prevention? No. Look, we have to learn to live healthier if we just get these tests earlier. No, not we're that. Spend less because what? we'll take care of the problem before it becomes a big problem like heart disease. Well, I'm a patient advocate and I face. believe in prevention because it saves lives. But 80% of precautionary measures do not save money. They actually add ah. medical costs. Ah. Oh, look at that. Ah. 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 never get sick. Same is true with mammograms. So, so that's prevention is important. Well, the data are so convincing that prevention adds to medical costs that the only people who ever talk about prevention saving money are politicians. All right, there's one other thing they're talking about, which is a new health policy board, which would be somehow set up like the Federal Reserve Board is for monetary policy. You know, separate people, however many, who would make these decisions about what to cover and what to pay for. And it really reminds me of the British NICE NICE, which doesn't do very nice things. For example, in 2006, they ruled that elderly people could not get a new job to prevent the loss. See if she still knows how to do the bang. She used to do the bang. Then they could get the drug to save the with those Thank boards, and I don't want to see that happen here. All right, Vince McCoy, thanks for being here. This is a debate we really want to follow. It's so important. Thank you. Go ahead. And Supreme Court nominee Sonia Sotomayor makes the case on Capitol Hill. We'll take a closer look at her just for these records and the writing of the Supreme you're getting dangerously close to my broken toe. Choices in healthcare plans today. But imagine this is insurance off their current insurance coverage, leaving Bambi. choices in health insurance. Bambi and Bambi your health care. It's not too late. Protect your health care choices. Tell Congress to say no to a government run plan. Finally, good news for people with type 2 diabetes or at risk for diabetes. Introducing new Nutrisystem D, the clinically tested program for losing weight and reducing blood sugar. You know, Paul, give Paul. He says no. If I wanted to, I would, and I don't want to. In a clinical study, people on Nutrisystem D lost 16 times more weight and reduced their blood sugar five times more than those on a hospital-directed plan. Plus, A1C was reduced 0.9%. Choose from over 140 menu options. There's no counting carbs, calories, or points. I lost 100 pounds and lowered my blood sugar level. Nutrisystem D. Nay, nay, Abby. Mike is one of many who've lost weight and controlled their diabetes with new Nutrisystem D. Bambi. Bambi. Bam. Ouch, get off my toe. Bambi. Oh, Lord. Are you still down there? Oh, jeez, get off my broken throat, will you? Bang. The people in our lives. Bang. The ones we love. The ones who love us. Play dead. And after all, this is what, you nuts? could be more important.